And then lastly, we have this reflection part. Now, in the previous video, we explored this concept of the knowledge tree, where we have all of these knowledge branches that are dependent on each other and growing out of each other. And if we cut one of these branches, then all the branches that are attached to that one will also die with it. And the deeper that we cut a branch, the more impact that this change has, right? That's what we call a paradigm shift. If I were to say the law of gravity is not true, then so much of our knowledge all of a sudden disappears or doesn't make sense anymore. Now, the same goes for reflection. But instead of talking about knowledge, now we're talking about wisdom. We're talking about insight. And the thing with deeper reflection is that it can be very confronting because if I cut this deep branch, that means that maybe a core belief that I held about life or about myself is not true. And that is painful, right? Digging deep is painful, but it's also very valuable. And we need to take time to do this deep digging. And that is why we have these different layers of reflection. The reason I'm saying this is because I'm aware how uncomfortable this can be and how easy it can be to just skip this, not take the time for it. But sometimes we just need to cut off a deep branch and burn off all the dead wood because that is how we get a better understanding of who we are and what is valuable to us. And this is also why in this model, we take these reflections and we turn them into insights. We take this thing that is very painful, very uncomfortable, but then we process it in such a way that something more beautiful can emerge. So we make the reflection, then based on what we feel, what we experience, what we see, we create this insight. And then from that insight, we create this testable hypothesis. If we put it in scientific terms, we set a goal, we make a plan, something that we can do. And then we check, did that thing actually, right? bring me closer to that person that I want to be. If not, we gain new insight. If yes, that's good. We got a better understanding of who we are. And that's why we have to do this. We have to do this uncomfortable reflection, turn it into insight, turn those into plans, execute on those plans, of course, reflect on that execution. And like that, principle number one, bring into alignment who we are with what we 